A lot of people have been asking the question on, on wiper motors for these old Jeeps. Uh, what they had on, what to put on, or what you're doing, what to do with them. Uh, originally I'm talking on CJ like 2As, 3As, 3Bs, CJ5s, you know, up into the 60s. Uh, originally they came out on the driver's side with a vacuum wiper motor that was mounted on them and they ran off a vacuum off the engine as everybody knows when you're going up a hill and stepping down on the gas they don't usually work that great but uh, if you're restoring the Jeep again and want to put antique plates on and not driving it in the rain Harley you know maybe you want to let the vacuum on we have rebuilt units here and stuff but we need cores for them and, and for the most part they work except if you're going up a long drag of a hill then you gotta let off the gas once in a while so the wiper comes over and cleans the windshield off but on, on almost all the old Jeeps uh, the driver side had the vacuum on and the passenger side had a hand wiper on that this is like for a 2A this one here and, uh, and the passenger had to actually reach up at the handle here and, and, and move it back and forth to clean the windshield off so he could see out and uh, that's just how they had them you know back in them days we weren't driving 70 80 miles an hour so it didn't much matter but the, most of them had on the, the hand wiper on the passenger side and it was also an option to get a, a vacuum motor on the passenger side but there again a lot of times when people bought Jeeps they didn't get very many accessories on them they just bought the bare bones Jeep and uh, and that was it so a lot of old Jeeps I've seen over the years had still had the hand wiper on them and uh, you know there again if, if you're gonna run your Jeep a lot and, and use it on the road a lot and you get in the rain a lot and stuff with it uh, the vacuum wipers don't work that great all the time and then you just get the electric wiper motor uh, and put it on it mounts in the same hole and stuff uh, as the the vacuum wiper and the, you know the shaft sticks out uh, the new wiper motors the shafts are a lot longer so for a couple of reasons they use them on anything industrial equipment anything so they make them long enough to fit a lot of different things so when you use them on the Jeep you can see how much longer that shaft is than the vacuum so what you got to do is is cut them down and shorten them so that they don't stick out through the windshield real far and uh, and it's easily done by taking a fine tooth hacksaw you put the nut on the shaft and take a fine tooth hacksaw and decide where you want to cut it off at and just take the hacksaw around the outer threaded part and cut it off without cutting in through the middle shaft and then after you cut that off this is about a three quarter inch sticking out here you know then you can cut your outer shaft off don't cut the both of them off straight or you'll be buying another wiper motor because you'll end up getting it too short because you won't have nowhere to put your wiper arm on uh, you know because your wiper arm goes on the center shaft there so it has to stick out to put your wiper arm on and uh, nice thing about these we have them in 6 volts 12 volts 24 volts and when you turn them on they run all the time and also on the Willys wagons and trucks they had the vacuum wiper motor on the firewall too and uh, same thing with them especially with these because they're dragging two wipers instead of just one like on a CJ uh, there again if you really need to see on them things and you're using the truck uh, we have electric wiper conversion that bolts on the firewall and the nice thing about it, it's a two-speeder when you pull the switch on it runs all the time and the new uh, electric wiper motor mates right up to the same coupling as the vacuum did and it bolts on the firewall with four bolts and we give a wiring a little wire harness with it and, and a switch to put up on the dash so you can mount your switch up on the dash where the original wiper switch was and uh, these only fit the wagon truck and Jeepsters and they're only available in 12 volts.